differ. That's the function I'd like to consider. You see the function sine x squared plus y squared on x plus y squared. So it's a two-dimensional setting, function of two variables. It is defined everywhere except the origin, because in the origin we cannot divide by zero, but I explicitly define my function in the, or at the origin as well. I just say it will be one. Some of you may guess even why I say so. So I claim that the function is differentiable in the origin, at, uh, yeah, at the origin, sorry. And I, gave you the ch I give the choice for the derivative matrix. This time it's a matrix one by two. It's a row matrix. And the, the, the matrix will be trivially zero matrix. So here we go testing it, testing this limit in the definition of the derivative. Look at this. I have to test is the limit given in, in, in like a completely, I mean, I just gave you the complete limit. We have to test is a question mark saying that we have to test this limit. We have to convince everyone that this is zero. Both face x, both face zero here. It's this and this multiple variable vectors. So I need to test this limit. If I can convince you this is zero, we're done. For the linear map, it was easy because the whole numerator was just zero. Constantly zero, no problem. For this function, well, I'll make substitutions. Here's my substitutions. Here's my substitutions. I, yeah, I skipped a few arithmetic steps. The denominator here, x takes zero, and length, it's exactly this value. And the numerator, this one's zero, because L is a zero matrix. And this difference, it's right in here. Question mark, because it still need to be argued. We need inequality, and here's my suggestion for the inequality. That's the one probably you saw in the tutorial in the tutorial set, because this inequality I suggested once already. This inequality. If you believe in this inequality, and I didn't ask you to prove it, it's, does it, it's the first year stuff. Some of you may attempt this. For, for, for this presentation, we just need this inequality. If you believe in this numerical inequality, if I use this inequality, in, and I use for the a this value, x squared plus y squared, let me just call this A capital because I don't want to rewrite this again. I, I don't want you to make to make rewrite it again. So we introduce this abbreviation. I call this number in brackets A capital. Then if I use this inequality, this number in brackets can be controlled like that. Right? It's A square and one R. Yeah, that's A square. Why does it say four? It's, it's, it's a typo of this. It should be square which means this is the distance of x degree 4. And so if I try to control this whole expression under the limit, yeah, it will be like this, with the correction for the typo, of course. Because absolute value of a is controlled by this value. The denominator is just one single length of x. x is here. So if I need to conclude that the limit of this expression is zero, here's my sandwich principle again. Left-hand side is constantly zero. Right-hand side vanishes because, because of this. 